we had probably the worst start that we could imagine having. Um, they got us down, I think it was 11-2. to two. They hit probably their first four shots, two of those being threes. And um, I'm like, this is about as bad as it gets. And, and I was concerned because we, when we dug holes last year, we never found a way to, to come back. And I, I had to try to be calm during that time to try to give them confidence. Uh, when we got ahead is when I kind of got a little bit more passionate and emotional because I, I wanted them to feel, I didn't want them to be afraid to win. You know, I wanted them to, to, to know what it feels like and, and keep pounding somebody, that type of thing. And it was a closer game than, I, than, than maybe we anticipated it being, but I'm glad it was close because we were able to work on time and score situations and um, learn how to win when, when they were fouling us and put us in those situations where we had to, you know, be pressed, that type of thing. So it was a, it was a hard fought game for us. Well, you know, it was it was a little bit of a challenge. You know, we, we've been practicing, uh, you know, certain situations and certain plays that have that have hitters. We know who's supposed to score in the offense, and we were running those plays, but we were we shot maybe 22 percent tonight, so we missed quite a few shots. And so, it was a time to score scenario where I was trying to call set plays for certain people, but at the same time, I wasn't quite sure who was going to knock down the big shot. Um, KG ended up being someone that we went to uh, often. Shari got some big time rebounds. Alicia Watson got to the rim. Uh, Williams, Alicia Williams got to the rim uh, and, and drew some fouls. Um, so it was it was one of those scenarios where we didn't know who was going to score, but nor, nor did the opponent. But it was a challenge, you know, not just not having Bree, but also Raven. She's our, our leading one of our leading scorers as well. So um, it was truly a learning experience. Uh, but but fortunately, we did win, and we can build on this as well. Well, you know, we all say God bless KG because she's been through such a tough uh, two years. Um, but she's so passionate. And I think that, that anyone that watches her play knows how, how much she loves the game. Um, <clears throat> she hits some big shots for us. But, but her being on the floor versus on the, the bench like she's been in the past couple of years brings that passion to the court, which is something that we haven't necessarily had for the last two years that I've been here. So, one, she's playing as hard as she can. She's probably playing through great pain, and she's playing well, you know. And so it just is, is awesome for her. It's awesome for the fans. It's awesome for our team. And, and hopefully we can continue to, to rest her as much as we can so she can play well uh, come, come contests. Well, we, we have, we've been talking about this for two and a half years now, and we, we also call it a sense of urgency. You know, you have to have a sense of urgency. And, I didn't feel like we really had that in the first half. We were like playing passive on defense. We, were, we weren't getting up and pressure, and we weren't diving on the floor doing those things. And, and we could have done a little bit better. We could have taken a few more charges. Um, but at the end, you know, like after the, first, the last media timeout, or they called a timeout, and it was a, like a four or five point game, we had to get a stop, and we did. And then I think Alicia turned and took it to the rim and got fouled, and that was a, a huge growth for our, for our team because in the past that may not have happened. So. Um, yeah, like you said, a lot of people did some big things for us. And uh, we were trying to keep um, their best player from getting the ball at the end. We did a good job, and then Precious came up with a the, with the huge steal. So there's some positives.